Hi everybody, it's Mark from Make the Most of Massage. How you doing? Thanks for joining us. I'm here with Dr. Stern, a chiropractor, and today we're going to talk about how to develop a relationship with a chiropractor. Dr. Stern, um, when we were approaching each other, um, can you tell me what you were looking for in a massage therapist um, to help you with your practice? For massage therapists, I'm looking for somebody who's going to enhance my ability to give the, uh, provide an adjustment that holds and stays for long periods of time. Uh, as a chiropractor, working with the joints and the ligaments, but with the muscles, a lot of times the patient might need more help to help the muscle reset, if you would, so we can help those adjustments hold longer so the patient gets a more longer lasting effect from the treatment. Right. Okay. Um, if a massage therapist came to see you to like just to start up a, a, a dialogue, right. um, what are the kinds of things that would be like turnoffs? Like what kinds of things would be like you know like hmm, this massage therapist might not be a good fit with me, kind of thing? Well, as far as turnoffs, I mean obviously you want good grooming. You know you right. want the person to uh, have an idea of, of what they they should be able to know what they do. Uh, obviously. If you just said, well, I, I just want to do massage, send somebody over, you know, that doesn't help. But if you say, I want to provide, uh, I do sports massage, I have different ways of enhancing uh, the body's patient's ability to heal. We're looking more probably for people, helping people heal. Gotcha. Okay. And how about if a massage therapist, uh, you know, wanted to develop a relationship with you and um, they came in and they, they were like, with the two of us, I forget who said do demo massages, maybe you did. Mm -hmm. Do you think that's a good idea for the massage therapist to say, hey look, let me, let me demonstrate what I can do to you and your patients? Yes, uh, that's an excellent idea. I think that would be a nice thing, especially if you could pitch it to the doctor that you could do like a patient appreciation day. You get free massages and just right. the doctor can explain this is a local, you're helping another local business. Uh, this is the, pay, the massage therapist is showing what he can do. If you like him, you can see this person. And also, uh, the doctor can also, uh, if there's an area maybe the patient needs a little extra work on, this gives the therapist a chance to show how he can enhance right. the doctor's ability to treat the patient. Right. So yes. Okay. <laughs> Resounding so, yes. <laughs> <laughs> so what, what, like a 15 minute typical? Would be 15 like, minute would be yeah. good because that way you're, you're showing the patient, you know, what, you know, how you go about it. and. Uh, yeah, I just said you obviously, you know, uh, clothes on and stuff like that. But the idea is that if you can, uh, apparently, if the doctor could say, listen, uh, doc, uh, this patient has a little quadratus and borum problem, work on the quadratus and borum. And you can then maybe even talk to the patient about, you know, stuff that they do, explain, right. you know, talk about your facility. Uh, just, you know, keep it light, but uh, right. the patient will appreciate it. Cause Almost everybody likes a free massage. You know? <laughs> so, uh, so that's what I'm saying is that they would then, now that they know what you can do, they're more likely to want to go to see you as opposed to just like, oh, I heard somebody does massage. Right. Okay. Well, thank you, Dr. Stern. You've been a great help. I My appreciate pleasure. that. Um, thanks for joining